Another World Cemetery is one of the biggest cemeteries in the Nelson Mandela Bay region, but is fast running out of space. The extended site will have 38,000 graves for COVID-19 and non-related deaths. The pandemic has already claimed more than 680 lives in this region. The municipality says they want to ensure that all COVID-19 related burials are done within the recommended three days. We need to make sure that as a city we, 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 we do things speedily so that the, the 72 hours, if I'm, not, if I'm correct, that is regulated, is, is not missed because of us as the, as the city. But we need to make sure that as a city we do exactly what is in the regulations in terms of making sure that everything is ready, a person can be laid to rest without any hassles from us as a city. Funeral parlors in the metro conduct 120 COVID-19 and nine related funerals weekly. Judenhaig alone counts for about 50 deaths per week. A new plan will also include training funeral parlor staff enabling them to identify those who died due to COVID-19. In our culture and tradition, uh, you have to have a week minimum or two weeks to, to send off your loved ones. But with these guidelines of the local government, which uh, we try to observe and adhere to, we, we negotiate and we, we bring the families that uh, are bereaved to explain to them exactly as what is expected of us. The city has also set aside two crematoriums that could cremate 900 bodies a month. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.